get a bowl and brown rice. No sauces. Can I have half and half? Yes. Um, can I have cucumber and tomato, corn? Do you have the fiery broccoli? Yes. Can I have that with pita chips, pickles, and the hot sauce? Do you want to get on the top? On the top, please. Welcome back to another video. Today, you guys are gonna be having a lunch day with me. Today, I made it to Kava. Um, it feels so good outside right now, so I just kind of felt like coming out here. I am by myself right now. I had a few questions that I had put on my story like a long time ago. I'm asking you guys what some questions that you guys would ask me for a Q&A video. Now, before I get into it, y'all, oh my gosh. If y'all didn't see already what I got in my food, this is everything that I got. So I have brown rice, chicken, two types of chicken, um, pita chips, broccoli, corn, cucumber, and tomato, and pickles. With their, they have like this hot sauce or something like that. It is so good. And I brought out some water for myself. This is my cup from my boutique. Um, but I'm just drinking some water because I don't really want no juice. Um, when you buy a bowl from them, you get the pita bread for free. So, that's what I'm going to be eating today while answering some questions. And y'all know how I am. I got to eat a little something first before I start my video. So, let me eat a little few bites, see what they work with. Y'all, if y'all got a cava near y'all, I'm telling y'all, please get it. Cava is so good. It reminds me of Chipotle, just a little healthier. They have, like as soon as you walk up, each item they have, they have like a small menu to show you how they cook it, what they put in there. And they're like extremely healthy, show you the calories, all that stuff. So I like them, they're pretty good. Y'all, and I'm a little nervous because I normally don't like recording when I'm outside. I like, I feel safe in my house to record. But today, you know, we're trying something new, we're vibing. And I'm gonna have to talk loud because I hear music playing in the background so i'm hoping that doesn't copyright me so i'm pretty much going to be talking over the music plan the first question how old are you i already mentioned in every single video that i record <laughs> that i am 26 years old y'all i still can't even believe that i'm 26 so many things that i experience in life and sometimes i still be feeling like i'm 18 Sometimes I still, like in my mind, I feel like I'm young. Just more knowledgeable. I just know more things than I did when I was 18. But I still feel good. I am 26. I'm a Gemini. And I know how y'all be feeling about Gemini. But you know what it is? The people who hate us the most, we must be the realest out there. I'm telling you. Because all these people be feeling some way about Gemini. But y'all got to keep it real. With Gemini, we're cool. It's just when you get on our bad side, we have to show you another side of us. We have to show you guys another side of us. Y'all might take it as two-faced because you're like, whoa, I never seen this coming. Who is this person? I never, like, I never seen the side of you. Don't bring that side out of us. Overall, we're cool as hell. Every Gemini I come across, we're super cool. Um, but it's just a simple fact of don't get on our bad side or you wanna see the other side of us, simple. Second question is, do I want more kids? No. <laughs> At first, when I was with my son's father, I was planning to have two kids, two kids max, maybe three, but two was probably what we were both going to be shooting for. But now, I don't want no more kids. I can't do it. Kids are a lot, y'all. The experience is great and everything, but baby, two kids running in the house, you gotta chase after some children. I feel like right now where my mind is, I would say no. But I feel like if I find my person, if my person 
if I know this is gonna be my person for years on, if they have family, once we grow our family, like I feel like I need time, I need more, like I said in my last video, security to have a child. I don't wanna bring in another child something happened with me and their father and now I'm stuck with two children to raise on my own and going through this hard experience you know I feel like I just don't want to go through that so for the for right now I'm going to say no of course my answer could change but for the meantime it's definitely going to be a no I literally can't see myself having two children anymore I used to because I always was like I want a girl I want to have a girl I want a girl so bad I'm good I got my son and for right now that is all I need baby it's like you go through certain things in life baby I learned my lesson one time you you're not gonna get me again <laughs> you're not gonna get me again I learned my lesson one time and one lesson is all I need no ma'am for the people who got multiple kids I applaud you you do a great job me no ma'am pregnancy is actually scary so many things can happen during pregnancy, complications, during birth, something happens to the baby, something happens to you. Like there's a lot that goes into having a child. And again, for me to have another child baby pop out another kid, go through all of that, go through feelings, go through hormones, go through my body changing again. No, nope, I'm selfish, not getting no more children, baby. And Plus, I want to get my body done and all that. And who won't be getting a body done just to have a baby again? Huh? Just know, though, y'all, when I get my body done and if I pop out with a kid, I'm deleting this footage. <laughs> all right, so third question. Would you want to move away from your hometown? That is a good question. I feel like, yes, I definitely would want to move away from my hometown. A lot of people that I see that talks about moving away from their hometown they're always trying to talk about like the people in there like the people um they're not supportive or the people excuse me the people are not motivating them or their surroundings or whatever the case is i feel like of course a new environment is going to motivate you it's going to inspire you it's going to show you new things that you're not used to but at the end of the day when you talk to other people in different states they give you the same experience they feel the exact same way I feel like it's within the person that's going to make the changes, that's going to do better in their life. And I feel like my life so far in New Jersey has taught me well, but I'm definitely ready to move away for sure. Me personally, I don't think New Jersey is like completely for me. I feel like where my mindset is, where my like heart, my soul it definitely belongs somewhere else especially the way prices is going crazy in jersey right now and i feel like jersey is a place where you're paying to live you're like you know what i'm retired i'm sitting back i'm relaxing and like i i you can't do much like in jersey there's not really much to do out here for me in my opinion it's literally you're paying to live out here that's the experience that i get so i definitely want to move away i already have two options that i have uh that i've been going to well i haven't went to one of the locations but the one place that i might be leaning to moving to i have visited a few times i have checked out homes talked to realtors already like i'm kind of in the process of like my mind is set on one location but the other location is just because I'm a little scared. It's kind of out of my comfort zone. So I don't know how I feel about it, but I hear nothing but great things. Um, I just talked to someone recently about this location and they're just telling me all the benefits. What I'm paying for my home right now, let's say if I go down to this location, I could be getting so much more. So I'm weighing my options. I feel like I'm giving myself like another year or two to decide where or if I want to move or if I want to stay in Jersey. Um, but I feel like for the meantime, I feel like for the meantime, until I get my life together, I'm fine with staying in Jersey, but I, I'm definitely giving myself like an expiration date in the next at least two years that I need to be out of Jersey. If some of you didn't know, I have a condo, I own a condo. And um, I bought it when I was 21 years old. I'm 26 now. With the agreement that I have is where, with the mortgage, 
um, after five years, you're able to either sell it, rent it, I can refinance it to lower my payments. Like it gives me a lot of options to decide if I want to again sell or rent, which I was kind of waiting for this time um, because I am interested in either renting it, making it Airbnb or selling it. Those are kind of like my options right now. But I have to take my time because since last year I kind of had like a little setback. Um, now I kind of am getting back on my feet and kind of redeciding what I want to do um, with that. But as I start that moving process, as I start deciding if I where I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna do in my house, I'm gonna vlog that. I'm going to have a whole video dedicated to that. It's just right now at the moment. I honestly don't know what I want to do. I don't have I don't have no idea what I want to do. I don't like I just don't know what I want to do at the moment. Y'all, this food is so good. And I hope I do not get copyrighted. So the fourth question. Do you have a man? <laughs> Y'all so nosy. I don't have a man. No, I don't have a man. I am single. I don't even talk to anybody. I don't entertain anybody. Um, I do be having people that be like hitting me up or trying to flirt or trying to get with me, take me on dates. But honestly, I'm just not interested. Um, if you guys haven't watched my last video, like I was saying before, I just feel like I'm not at peace with myself and I'm learning to really love myself right now. And I'm just not interested into into sharing my love like i feel like i'm just in my selfish error and i don't want to give my love to anybody like besides my son like i don't feel the need to learn someone new to you know like i just don't feel like it but i think in the next probably two years i'll probably be more interested into dating but for the moment i'll be dubbing everybody <laughs> and when i mean dubbing y'all dubbing i'm so funny but yeah, to answer that question, no, I am I am not dating anyone and I am single. This phone is about to die and I didn't even realize that. Oh, yo, I hate bugs. There's so many little bugs out here. Okay, this is a good one. How do you push through your problems? So the way that I push through all my problems is I laugh. <laughs> I laugh at all my situations. I pray, I talk to God. I stay alone, I don't be around people, I don't go out. I kind of isolate myself and just kind of sit in the situation um, for me to sit back and really realize like what's happening, why is it happening, and how can I get myself out of this situation. Um, yeah, that's pretty much how I get through it. I don't know if that's a good thing, I don't know if that's a bad thing, I don't know, but it works for me. I've been doing a lot of talking to God more and pretty much giving my problems to him meaning like say something happened to me today whatever that issue is I just pray about it because at the end of the day I can't do anything without him he kind of guides my life he is the creator of my life like without him I'm nothing so it's no point in me trying to solve the problem or trying to you know do things on my own because for one it takes forever Two, I might make, make the wrong decision or I might not go on a route that I should go on. So I kind of lean on him um, for all my problems, honestly. And it's been a lifesaver. Like every issue I have, I pray about it. I talk to God. I give it up to him. And he gets me out of it every time. And he gets me out of it fast. Faster than what I could do on my own. So the next question is, would I date girls? Yeah. Since I was young, people always assume that I like girls, even to this day. Like, somebody just said that yesterday to me. Y'all, I would not date girls. I think girls are beautiful. I love giving girls compliments. I love just saying, hey, like, you're so pretty. Like, I like doing that because it's not that serious. Like, if you look pretty, I'm going to tell you. If your outfit is bomb, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to gas you up because why not? like to allow somebody to feel good about themselves and yeah baby if i got a mouth i'm definitely going to use it and tell somebody they look good but that doesn't mean that i like girls or i want to be with girls girls are beautiful and all but baby i definitely see myself with a man i'm not about to be over here bumping coochie with nobody okay <laughs> i am strictly for men 
All right, y'all, we got a few more questions and I'm gonna wrap this up. What are you the most insecure about? Mm, that's a good one. I think I'm most insecure about my boobs. Yeah, I think I'm most insecure about my boobs. I feel like they've always just been too big for my body and not really flattering. And definitely after I had my kid, they changed again. And I just definitely do not like it. Um, I would definitely say my breast. Like my breast is definitely what I'm most insecure about. But don't worry, that's getting changed soon, baby. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be the last question. What are some goals that you have for the rest of this year? So this question I was kind of already thinking about on the way here. And I wrote down a few things of what my goals are because in my head I actually didn't have an idea. Because I, I told myself that I'm going with the flow. But in a way I do have goals. One of my goals is to learn to love myself again. That is like one of my biggest things that I am working on. I've been doing different things like going out to eat by myself, um, taking care of myself, taking longer um, with my process, with skincare. My camera just shut off randomly. But like I was saying, I definitely would say loving myself is something that I am working on. I lost my confidence like a long time ago like maybe a year or two ago probably like three years ago I probably lost my confidence about three years ago right before I had my son I never had that experience of not being confident in myself in the last three years like just made me feel sucky like not being motivating being extremely lazy like just not you know being the best me and not blaming anyone but just saying like me personally within myself like I just wasn't confident I wasn't loving myself and it was a horrible experience so that's one thing that I am working on the second thing the second thing would be peace and the third thing kind of falls into peace so I had also put getting closer to God I feel like with being closer with God that's given me a lot of peace because like I said um, I give most of my problems to him I don't deal with a lot of things on my own or by myself so anything that happens even the littlest things even things that I want for myself things that I'm working on for myself I give it up to God and it's so peaceful mentally I'm not dwelling on it I'm not sitting there and like thinking about it all day I'm doing more I'm like getting up and doing things to get to that goal without sitting there and stressing about it or overthinking or, you know, like giving it up to God just gave me more time to do rather than just talking about it. Working on my peace and getting a better relationship with God is, has been like the best thing for me, honestly, mentally, physically. And since I chose to get closer to him, a lot of things have been going right. Literally, I don't even know how to explain it, but everything has been going right everything and even if something happens it's like i have the peace in my heart where it's like all right it happened what's next what are we going to do to solve it like i'm and that's where i used to be around three years ago and that just stopped i kind of started relying on myself trying to do everything for myself and it didn't work at all <laughs> like it didn't work my life was just going down and i'm slowly but surely for sure getting my life back up with having God on my side. So I definitely would say and recommend have God on your side. Hey y'all, I'm low people. Y'all remember what that bowl looked like? And I got this much left. I think I'm going to wrap it up. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you guys want to see from me. This was kind of cool. This is kind of a vibe. I'm not going to lie. I'm sitting outside. I'm by myself. But there's a lot of people in the restaurant. And I just still have been just talking. Just flowing. And it feels good. It's not that bad. I feel like when you overthink. You're thinking like, oh my gosh, it's the worst thing. Everyone's going to be staring at me. But no one says anything. People smile. People carry on. It's really not that big of a deal. Like, Y'all. And right when I cut my camera. Just like how I was just saying how people are 
excuse me, was watching me and stuff like that, a girl just came up to me and asked to subscribe to my channel. She's so sweet. She just walked over there and she subscribed to me. So look at that. Look how that just worked out for me. Got a new subscriber just from coming outside, eating and talking with you guys. I hope when you see this girl, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video.